Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how do we find the value of x and any missing angle measures when given, I don't even know exactly what you would call this, you have a whole bunch of different lines involved here, a whole bunch of different angles, and you need to try and figure out what is x and what are the total angle measures for the missing pieces here. Okay, so uh, when taking a look at these kind of problems, typically one of the first things that you do want to look for are, are there any right angles in the problem? Are there any straight angles in the problem? Are there any vertical angles in the problem? Because that's going to help you figure out a lot of the missing angles. Now, in order for there to be a right angle, you either need to be told that it's a right angle or you need to have the little square that indicates that it is a right angle. We don't have that going on in this problem. We also don't have any straight lines. All of these are going off in different directions. None of them are a smooth line that goes straight across. The reason that we like to have that is because that indicates a, a straight line uh, is equal to 180 degrees. So we can use that fact uh, to try and help us here. But we don't have any of that going on for this problem. But thankfully, when I do look at this problem here, everything uh, either already has a value for it or has an X attached to it. So the only way to really figure this kind of problem out is using the definition of a circle and what uh, angle measures a circle has. So I'm going to draw a circle around this entire thing. What we should hopefully know about a circle is the total angle measures or the total degrees within a circle is 360 degrees. So if I go completely around this, I know that every single one of these angles that f forms this full circle here should add up to 360 degrees. So what we know is that all of these angles together should add up to 360 degrees. So we're going to take all four angles, add them up, set them equal to 360, and solve. So our first angle is x, so we're going to add that to our second angle, which is 2x. Our third angle, let's say, is 76, and our fourth angle is 89, and that's going to equal 360 degrees. We need to do some cleanup at this point, and we need to combine some like terms. So we're going to combine the x and 2x, and then we're going to combine the 76 and the 89. x plus 2x, remember that there is a 1 understood to be in front of that x, so 1x plus 2x is 3x. And when we combine 76 plus 89, we get 165, and that all equals 360 degrees. If we're solving for x, the first thing we need to do is subtract 165 on both sides. So when we subtract 165 on both sides, let's see, I'm going to cheat and use my calculator here. 360 minus 165 is equal to 195. And then we drop down the 3x on the left-hand side. Last thing left to do here to solve this equation is to divide out the coefficient, which is a 3. It cancels out on the left side, and we are left with uh, x is equal to 65. So we found what x is equal to. Now, this first angle over here is equal to x, so that means this angle here is 65. We already know that this one is 89. We know that this one is 76. The only other one left to find is the one that is equal to 2x. Um, so we know that that, equal, that angle equals 2x, and since x is equal to 65, 2 times 65 is 130. So that means that this angle must equal 130 degrees, and that wraps up this problem. So all we used here was the fact that a circle equals to 360 degrees. We took all the angles in that circle, added them together, and set it equal to 360. Let's take a look at our next problem. All right, so taking a look at example B, our next example here. So a couple of different things to note before getting started here. This top left angle here is marked by a 90 degree angle. We do have this straight line that goes completely across, so we do know that this is a straight angle. So we can use those facts to try and backtrack here and figure out what the rest of the angles are. 
Now, since this is a straight line here, and I know that this angle here, that this is a 90 degree angle. So if this is a 90 degree angle over here, that means that this has to be a 90 degree angle over here. And in this 90 degree angle, this section over here, I have two different angles. I have the x plus 8 and the 2x minus 8. Since both of those are within this angle, that tells me that both of these should add up to 90 degrees. Uh, so what I can do is I can take the first angle, which is x plus 8, add it to the second angle, which is 2x minus 8, set that equal to 90 degrees, and solve for x. When we solve for x, the first thing we need to do is combine like terms. 1x plus 2x is 3x. Looking at our numbers, we have a positive 8 and a negative 8. That actually cancels out. So we're left with 3x is equal to 90. When we divide out the coefficient here, 90 divided by 3 is 30. So that tells me that x is equal to 30 degrees. And since x is equal to 30 degrees, we can use that here. This one angle is x plus 8. If x is equal to 30, that means we have 30 plus 8. So this one has to be 30 degrees. This angle here is 2x minus 8. So 2x minus 8, if we plug in a 30 for the x there, right, we have 2 times 30 minus 8. 2 times 30 is 60, and 60 minus 8 is 52. So that means this one here has to be 52. We can even go a step further and plug in 30 for this one down here, the 4x minus 24. If we plug in uh, the 34x on that one, we get 4 times 30 and then minus 24. 4 times 30 is 120, and 120 minus 24 is equal to 96. So that means this one here is 96. So then, that means we almost have the entire thing figured out. We found all of the missing angles here that have X's labeled with them. But I do see that we have this, lab this angle over here labeled with a Y. So we need to figure out what that Y is equal to. So let's see if we can figure out a way to do that. So... Um, we don't have any other y's in the problem, but what I can kind of do here is I do have two straight angles. This is a straight angle, right? This line goes completely across. And what we know about straight angles is straight angles equal 180 degrees. So everything within this straight angle here is equal to 180 degrees. Now, I know this one is 96. I know this one is 52. So if we take 180, subtract 96, subtract 52, we should get what this one here is equal to, right? Because we know that everything within a straight angle equals 180 degrees. So if we subtract away this, we're going to find the missing piece. So we do 180 minus 96 minus 52 is going to get us this missing piece here. So 180 minus 96 and then minus 52 leaves us with 32 degrees. So we know that this piece here is 32 degrees. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something very, very similar here. We're gonna use a different straight angle here. We have one other straight angle in our problem, and it's this one right over here because we have this line that goes straight across. So that means all three of these have to equal 180 degrees. So what that's going to look like here is if we take 180 and then subtract away the 32, subtract away the 96, it's going to give us this missing piece over here. All right, so if we do 180, we know this one is 32, we know this one is 96, it should then give us what y is equal to. So 180 minus 32 minus 96 is equal to 52 degrees, which we can see is actually equal to the 52 degrees of this one over here. These two are obviously vertical angles of each other, since vertical angles are equal to each other. 
Um, but otherwise, that wraps up all of the missing values that we had for this particular problem. That's it for this video.